Alrighty folks, good morning. It is an absolute beautiful morning here in Stansted, London. And it is just after half five in the morning. Um, we are heading from here to Essex and where are we after that? Yeah, through Essex, a couple of property um, tours to do, then from Essex back to Rugby, and then from Rugby to Liverpool, and that is the plan. So anyway, welcome back guys. This is another vlog that we're gonna put up. Don't know where we're gonna start it. We have been so bad on vlogs lately. Um, we actually constitute more on TikTok and Instagram, so follow us over there at TCTS Group or at Stephen Smith, hashtag Stephen Smith, TCTS Group, and uh, follow us on our journey. Right, let's get packed up, let's get going. So we are now just heading for back in the airport here, Stansted, and there should be a shuttle bus over to the car rental. So we'll jump into one of these motors and get ourselves down the road before we hit this bloody traffic. Anyway, what an absolutely beautiful morning. Time to put the shades on. Forward. Village. Alrighty, so this is just the absolute, it's called the car hire village, car rental village, for a reason. Nearly all the big brands are here. So we have a meeting here next week actually with one of them in regards to driver assessments. So stay tuned for that, people. Right, let's see what this goes. Through. folks oh it is now half past nine at night we are just back up here in rugby from Essex and two software meetings this evening kicking off about 10 I think here in the Leonardo Hotel we'll go on probably late enough and then from that we will kick off in the morning with another software meeting back in London and then we have three clients of ours to our investor boards who are pumping a hell of a lot of money into the likes of a lot of logistics hubs over here so exciting time for them but exciting time for us as they expand we expand so it's all about protection and support anyway let's get in here Alrighty, folks good morning um the last clip probably finished up with us just back at the hotel last night um and then straight to the room I think we go back here about nearly half past nine, quarter to ten. It was still light, which is awesome, but long ass day. Um, so, back in this hotel room, we're back at the Leonardo in Hickley Island. Hickley Island. Uh, we've stayed here a number of times, so it's a good spot. I know in the last clip, of, I think I said rugby, but we have a client in rugby, and this is only up the road to where I'm going this morning. Anyway, as usual, let's get a wee look around the hotel room because I seem to live in these places most of the time, but look at the size of this room. Now this is good, this is class. So as I was saying to Natalie the other night, we stayed here a couple of times, beautiful big hotel on the outside, but the rooms are a kind of a shithole. Now don't get me wrong folks, when you are absolutely wrecked tired, you would sleep on that grass bank out there. So yeah, massive, uh, I think these might be, I don't know what they're called, the Great room for anybody, especially with families, if you want to put cots or, um, you know, smaller beds or do a workout in the morning or whatever it is you want to do. In here we have a good sized bathroom, which is always good. And obviously the only problem I have is it only has the ordinary shower head. So um, good pressure in the shower this morning. So as long as the pressure is good, then I'm usually happy. 
So yeah guys, um, meeting this morning here in the hotel. Uh, that's all done and now I'm heading actually to meet another guy up at the DPD um, hub up here about maybe a mile away or so. And then I might try and get my hair cut because it's getting ridiculous now. Then back into London for a software meeting with Group Technologies which is our software company, which incorporates Compliance Pal Global Software and Tachograph Pal, which is, as we always say, global changing software. So yeah, that is the plan at the minute. Um, and if we can get our hair cut over here, then happy days all the better. After that, tonight we are then for Liverpool. Um, up to client in Liverpool for first thing Thursday morning. Um, as I say, as you know guys, I usually put out on LinkedIn that if I'm in GB or where I am now the days are always full don't get me wrong but there's 24 hours in a day so there's an 18 hour window and we always try and pack it up as best we can so last night ran on till maybe half 11 this morning we're at again 20 past 6 so picked up a, a number of new clients new consultations um, and just network and just meet with people you know I actually met with a guy about a month ago I'll sit down here about a month ago and um, it was, I wouldn't say a waste, a wa I'll tell you what the story was, he wanted to meet me first of all because he wanted to see what we'd do and he actually worked for Royal Mail and he wanted to know what we'd done and uh, how we do it and the conversation led around to the full circle as it usually does with him um, wanting information of how to come and work for us, a TCTS group or a TCTS Ireland or Compliance by Global Software or um, he was also interested in Transport Logistics Services Limited, our Transportation Logistic Warehouse and Freight Forward TPL company. He was also interested in some of the enterprises. So it, the conversation came around, but anyway, it's not that it was a waste of conversation because although why he contacted us was for a full a full internal health and safety audit, um, we're not even doing that yet. He actually had three or four other subcontractors that pull into that yard that he wanted audited and he says the real good guys but he didn't believe they had not anything in place for compliance and health and safety and risk mitigation and tax graph and all that sort of stuff so we uh, I then spoke with them on a team's call video call and then we cut long story short short we're starting to do work for them but these guys had absolutely nothing in place and in fact that's why I don't want to say any names they're actually running vehicles not authorized on a license um, because they didn't understand the process of it. So they're actually plant hires and then they got into a bit of general haulage. The company that they were working at wasn't doing well so they, st they got a contract with a particular operator, um, night trunking, and it started to escalate and it started to grow, which was fantastic. However, they didn't keep themselves compliant. So yeah, very, very good contact. So networking, that's what it's about. I was at a place in Essex yesterday and I was speaking to the managing director about their small trucks and the small vans and a couple of them were box vans and I happened to make the the observation that these vans they, they bought these vans for one particular reason and they happened to mention that they can carry more weight and of course I was there biting my tongue saying nothing and then the conversation came round we went outside and looked at them and I happened to make them aware that you know you cannot drive it on a car license it must be a C1 um, license that the payload in the van they were using they were saying oh we can throw loads of product in it and I was saying well it's about what 556 on the kg and of a payload and this was refrigerated bodies so the conversation went round the circle to really where I was only educating them I was only dropping a bit of information in and then the conversation got all serious and I went out and showed them the plaques and how the legislation states that they can't drive the vehicle on that license and um, where they need an operator's license why they need uh, tack graph analysis why the driver needs a tack graph card why the vehicle needs a tack graph fitted why it needs to be there needs to be a company card to lock in the tack graph why there needs to be analysis in place um why it needs to be on an operator's license etc etc so very very interesting conversation so that bit of networking in itself um now has not only given us more work because out of that work we'll do the transport compliance bit for them but we'll also do their health and safety we'll do their training we'll do their uh, facilities management their risk mitigation end-to-end -end product end-to-end -end solution for them all the time but it came about from a bit of education and a bit of networking and networking is the big thing so yeah anybody always hits us up on linkedin or emails as we try our best to get speaking with them and I'm a big believer, I'm still old school, although all my businesses are fully digitalized, they're all electronic, they're all remote working, we can do them anywhere. I'm still a big believer in face-to-face -face conversations because, you know, that's the only way to do it, really. Anyway, guys, we need to get going here and we'll touch base oh, wherever the next clip will be. So 
bit of a change of route this evening. We are on the Belfast Liverpool standing line, shipping into Birkenhead, and they had a number of clients first thing in the morning. So let's get onto this tub, get a cabin, and get the laptop out. Forward. Alrighty folks, we are now on the boat, in the cabins, see you can get back out of here. So, I've actually got a four berth cabin, as I think it was the only one left um, when our guys were booking the boat, but years ago when I used to be on here as a HGV driver, you could have been stuck beside four smelly people. Um, but yeah, so a lot of people, again, the information I'm trying to put into these vlogs is to show people what they maybe never see or they don't get a chance to come across. So although we're used to it, I'm going to try and give you a wee bit off a duke around this room. Duke meaning look. So tight enough for your room here. Let me see. Put on a couple of oh, that's the lights off. So we have a wee ward up there for hanging up clothes. It's always handy. Clean enough cabin, not too bad. Some of them be absolutely stinking. As you see, all the dust and all, but stand line, you know, it's okay. It's okay. It's mid mid level. You get what you pay for, though it's very expensive at the same time. So we have bed number one, which just folds down. Hopefully, there's nobody in here. <laughs> so bed number one up here, and then there are ladders. Let's clip that back in. So we just come down on these wee resting points here. Down below bed number two, we have a wee television and plenty of um, sockets. So again, now we're running out USB and things, which to me um, should be USB C now in this day and age, but we not complain because I remember for years there was nothing on it. So you were always stuck trying to charge your, uh, your phones, your laptops, your iPads, whatever else you had. So usually within the back of these cupboards you have a lather yeah so that's for the lather for getting yourself up on top of the top bunks with bunk number one bunk number two bunk number three and bunk number four so at the bottom of these bunks there is um a wee place to stand on which actually that's what that's supposed to be for over beside your bed you have I don't know what that's for. Oh, well, that's not control actually. But you have your switches, long USB, and you have your curtains, which they just sit there and look pretty. But we have a pull down blackout screen, which let me tell you is very, very um, handy to have. Right, folks, what else? Um, into the bathroom itself, so we do have the rooms on regulated switches, which to be fair work sometimes, other times they don't work. There's the switch in the bathroom. So we have a bathroom combi. Brave step getting up into it. So if someone is um, disabled in such a way that they can't lift their leg, uh, it is a brave step, just be aware of that because you know gays ask me it all the time. So we'll answer it. In here we have a full wet room. So as you can see, we have walk-in shower. Shower is a good size. The shower actually is not too bad. Um, for hand not to take the dust away from it. And then we have a good size of sink and mirror. So yeah, all good. In the hood, somewhere else to hang up towels, etc. So Well, usually guys we'll get the laptop out here um a couple of teams calls to do a couple of zoom calls to do um go and probably pay for the wi-fi on the boat and as an extra gold member we should be fit to get it uh, free and if not free it's actually not too expensive it gives you real damn good internet now the trick is use your 4g um until you get about half an hour 45 minutes into the sale and then then transfer onto the ship Wi-Fi, um, especially if you've got a free token or you're paying for it, because the signal is not great until you get out a wee bit. And then people think that the internet on the boat is absolutely crap, when actually it's fantastic. And I can get full Wi-Fi the whole way on any of the sailings back and forth, 
which is, you know, brilliant for trying to run a business, if nothing else. So. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to remind all vehicle drivers parked on deck number seven to please disable your car alarm. Ah, right. Okay, forward. Alrighty, guys. So, for a lot of the, especially the young people watching, not even the young people, we're asked about this all the time, about loading and unloading of um, the boats. So, the GoPro will do it no justice, obviously. But, here we have most of our guys loading onto the boat for another full week 3GB and for their field and you know it's it definitely is rewarding when you when you look out there and you see a, a hell of a lot of them vehicles probably good 80% or more are clients of ours um, and it's, it's definitely worthwhile for what we do but for people who don't realise what these guys do like they'll be living in these trucks now for the next five days at least four nights five days maybe wait for two weeks at a time in and out of europe so it's an industry that a lot of people don't understand and when we do our other side of the business which is the facilities management and the 3pl and 4pl and um, risk mitigation and health and safety and business management you know when we do that sort of work guys honestly do not even know where their product comes from um, or sorry how it's got to their premises it just blows my mind sometimes and uh, I had a conversation this morning with someone who was giving out about late deliveries and they just happened to tell me who the haulier was and the haulier is one of our clients so I, I dived a wee bit more into it um, of where the product was being lifted and where it was being transported to and what they don't realise is you know these guys that are doing it legal they're struggling to even match the clowns that's out there that's not doing it right you know the guys that don't have an operator's license the guys are running bent magnet switches dummy cards and um, priced it just on the ground red diesel dummy tanks all the usual so they cannot even compete with that and it's very very interesting because um when you sit down and talk to them about it and see what they're doing at pence per mile or pence per kilometer uh, or run or load whatever way they're priced and they show me quotes from other guys and it's just like come on man i will do a whole vlog on that uh, with our new series which is more or less meet the owner where we're going to be vlogging with some of our clients about their day-to-day -day life and what their business does uh, what they produce um, what they transport so interesting session coming up right guys it is um i don't know nearly 10 o'clock at night this boat will be set and sail for half 10 and then we're into birkenhead so as you can see just mass of stuff Anyway, forward. Alrighty folks, good morning. Just landed into Liverpool at Birkenhead. Jump off this boat here, straight out to one of our clients. Um, four different clients to meet today. One will be a long, long day for DVSA audit and investigation. Um, second one then is regarding tachograph offence. Uh, with their solicitors. The third one then is another DVSA investigation um, for overweight. So, and then the fourth one is facilities management for a new client who has bought over two new logistic hubs. So hopefully we get a bit of footage there as well, but um, it's coming into quarter past six. So we'll have to vacate the cabin and jump down into the van and get out of here. Alrighty folks, good morning. We are back out here now on the deck and um, about to disembark from the old Stena Line tub. Um, very busy sailing, very busy crossing here this evening, especially with freight as per usual. But we will try and get a bit of footage on the way out of the boat for a lot of the guys that ask the questions about embarking and disembarking on the boat. So back in Liverpool, another hectic week in front of us and um, we put up social media posts regarding videographers we are looking for videographers to join our team at group media um, and that involved weekly vlogging um, of our, our ourselves TCTS group as well as our other businesses and also with 
um, training videos, the creation of training videos for our clients, for our partners, um, for our accreditations. So a lot of stuff in the pipeline there. So if you are a videographer or if you want to get involved in that and you want to get into content creation, or if you're a specialist, maybe freelancer who can commit to the deadlines and the, the quality we're looking for, especially regarding our training videos, well then give us a shout to info at tctsgroup.com. Anyway, it is 10 past six. Let's get out of here. Alrighty guys, we are back here, back on site in, not back on site, site for the first time, in Moat, down to do a bit of fleet inspection. A bit of fleet safety inspection techniques training. So we get the guys, classroom sessions are done, and uh, we're now kicking on with the practical, practical sessions in the pit on this beautiful testing wet day so we'll see if we get any footage from maybe set up the gopro here in a time lapse if the guys are comfortable with being in a video so yeah um dpd work box trailers nice handy wee number for these guys Alrighty guys, so just up here in Dublin after conducting, first of all, some of our transport services in the afternoon time, shutting a bit of emergency trailer jobs going on with Refrigerated Partner, and then we had a number of driver assessments and driver training, so we're up in one of our own tracked units here, and we are parked up in... Summer Dublin, can't even remember. Anyway, it's that time of night guys, so we're going to... Get the curtains pulled and we have a nerdy start in the morning. So we have a monthly compliance visit. CCS service with one of our clients up here in Dublin and then um, tomorrow night, tomorrow evening, shipping out to Hollyhead. Yeah, from Dublin to Hollyhead in, uh, into a new transport compliance hub and transport hub in Hollyhead. And uh, yeah, maybe get a bit of fitted footage around there. We have a driver assessment to do with a new company. We have high ab training to do. We have mute training to do. We have forklift material handling training to do. We have tag graph analysis to do. We have tag graph management. We have maybe this month 12 operator license jobs from new applications to variations to extensions. We have public inquiry work brewing. I think we have 16 public inquiries sitting ready. To be acted on so most of them's with the transport regulation unit in northern ireland and we're waiting for dates so they're very very slow on on uh, putting dates i suppose with the new um head of tru in place we'll see how she fares out hopefully she'll do okay but if not it'll probably be the guys from england coming in like they've done for the last couple of years to um manage the public inquiries but as for now guys we have all pulled over and boom gonna get into bed so yes, founder, managing director of a number of companies, and uh, yes, we're still on the road, and we're still, oh, see, get some light here. We're still on the road, and we're still doing the business, and I think, you know, when you're an expert in your field, the way that we are, you still have to be on the ground level, um, you know, with transport compliance, and driving, and tech graphs, and driver's hours, and just being in the thick of it, and, you know, as the founder CEO of the business, my job, my role is to build the business, is to continue building the network because your network is your net worth. Um, ensuring that we give our maximum, the highest service delivery that we're known for. Ensure that we eradicate the companies we don't want, the clients we don't want and build and grow with the clients that we do have and the clients that we do um, want to grow with. So it's a lot of hard work in the background, but it is what it is. Anyway. I'm getting to bed and the next clip should be in the morning. Forward. Alrighty folks, good morning. Um it's just about half past seven now, so we were up we were up just after six o'clock. Um up out of the bunk, driver's carried in, chip up, face down, full daily walk around check of track unit and trailer, no more than six minutes, not putting a set of brakes on her. 
So trailer from last night, good check done. Uh, ample time rotated the vehicle forward a half rotation to put a spike in the tack graph to show the tires being checked as best as one can for the facilities and light and positioning that you have so we are heading into a client here now um for a transport compliance audit but we will go on in the track unit and finish them up then to the boat and then from the boat to our hollyhead yard i think is the plan more importantly is <clears throat> i'm in dublin here right eight nine euro or ten euro for a bit of toothpaste in uh, maxall in a bloody shop so yeah that that doesn't that annoys me uh, the first thing in the morning so that is the crack guys uh, we're going to try and put a couple of videos up um regarding just basic tack graphs, drivers hours, daily walk around checks, load security, all the things that we specialise in at a very high level where we represent people as expert witnesses at court and public inquiries um, and it's not very often that we're out, or that I'm especially out in the trucks doing work that would consider as being normal work. We're usually doing training trailers or we're doing driver assessments or driver training or using moving our specialist kit or from our transport company TLS, Transport Logistics Services Limited, it's all specialised work, it's all full confidential work which we can't do any video of anyway. But this is what we'll try and do as we go along and see how we get on. And for their monthly tachograph management and CCA, which is Continuous Compliance Audit Service, and um, we have workshop maintenance audit to do as well. So yeah, let's go. Alrighty folks, welcome back to another part of this video vlog um, episode out here in Hollyhead in Wales and we are <coughs> heading down to our new yard so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try and get a bit of footage from just lift it and need lift the trailer in the port and then I'm going to do a video from the port of Hollyhead out to our new transport hub in Hollyhead coming off at Junction 6 and down into our location in Mona Industrial Park. On that note guys, a big thank you to everybody. We've just went over 1,000 followers on TikTok. So if you're not on our Tickety Talk, jump on. We'll leave a link here somewhere on the screen and a link down below. So, yes sir. Right guys, we're going to hook in here and um, get all up and then we put the head cam on for all you princesses out there the camera is not being held it'll be on a head cam and we will go into the business i'll tell you what guys the whole point of our of our yard which is called a hollyhead transport hub is for this precise reason now you can't see where i am at the moment but um it's just lined with trucks all over the place tractor units um boys trying to trying to park for the night, get their time off, try and do trailer swaps. You know, one of the big things is for shunting, is for ferry movements, sorry, but listen, let me get set up, let me get hooked in and I will, I'll come back to you. That's all. <laughs> 